Hi, Collective. How are you? This is Healing Hands, guys. How is everyone? I hope you all are doing okay. Because I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in like everybody else. Collective, I don't know what's going on, but um, I am being led to do a pick a card um, <laughs> for um, you and them. All right? Um, or you and they to see if we're going to pick up any dark magic or any voodoo stuff or any uh, thing going on behind the scenes. Let's dig into the energy, guys. I want to see what I'm going to find out. I, I know Nikki. Um, Nikki, thank you for all the follow, um, the subscribe, and for all your love, Nikki. <laughs> I know, Nikki, I mean, there's something going on where there's, you know, mention of... Um, dark magic and somebody trying to do this and do that you know um harvest and someone's energy and all that right i would like to dig in and see all right um i've been meditating on this reading since yesterday um and i wasn't really sure if i wanted to do it but i'm being led to do it anyway so let's see for those of you who would resonate because i know it's not gonna be for everybody so if you found yourself in a situation with um, another, you know, person, a partner of yours, if there's been a fallout, a disagreement, misunderstanding, or maybe you all are on shaky ground, um, let's see, you and they, okay? I'm going to pick, you know, let's see what we get. You and they for the first pile over here. I hope you all can see this, I guess, yeah. All right, so the second... Um, situation that we're reading for all right i'm not gonna take three okay i just need one one each there's one here there's one here all right you and they okay um yes let's get one one i want to see what's going on let's dig in all right this is not supposed to be here but i'll put it back i just need one more you and they, okay? Let's say you on, on the left, they on the right, okay? You, they, you, they, you, they. First pile, second pile, and the third pile. Let's see what's going on. All right, I need more. All right, the first um, group of you who resonates with this reading, because I, like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. So if, if this is resonating for you, there's a situation where you are sad, you feel broken, and you feel like you've lost something. Um, you feel devastated about whatever this is. You feel crushed, all right? You feel like somebody abandoned you or left you in the dump um, and just, you know, moved on. Um, I mean, there's a feeling of loneliness. And how is the other person feeling in this situation? Um, there's an obsessiveness with the other person that you're dealing with. It could be obsessiveness with anything. Some of them could be um, eating to mask their um, sadness. Some of them could be obsessed with something. It could be this could be anything actually. It could be indulgence in. Um, drinking, indulgence in sex to, you know, kind of mask whatever is going on underneath. Maybe they are pain. Um, it's some kind of obsession that is going on here, all right? Whereas one person is feeling crushed, the other person is feeling very, very obsessed. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we're going to pick up. Let's see. Um... Spirit, let's see. For this first group over here, I would like to like get that one done. And I'm going to be taking reversals if they come out today, okay? All right, for this um, first group over here, for you, there is a dark night where you feel like your twin flame could be experiencing a dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual desolation, disconnection, and emptiness inside. So you feel like whoever you're dealing with, you know, might be going through their, you know, um, dark night of the soul. 
um you, some of you feel like you know whoever you're dealing with is not in the right frame of mind and they probably lost their mind or there's something going on with their mind there's something twisted about it um they are not their normal self they are going through some you know a period um of desolation disconnection um you feel like there's some kind of emptiness all right inside of yourself also um if it's not you thinking i think this is you thinking the other person is in this state all right and what are they thinking about you they are thinking you are perfectly imperfect for them since the love that you have for them or they have for you allow them to accept their flaws and accept them accept you for exactly as they are or as you are with or without trying to change someone so there is an energy of not changing here they see you as somebody who is not changing they see you as um or maybe you see them right i mean pick whichever side this you know that that is yours one person is feeling like oh the other person is in, in going through some kind of spiritual desolation they're going through something that is devastating in their life all right like spiritually they are not okay meanwhile they are thinking you are perfectly imperfect for them they you know they are they like you the way you are or there's something about you that is not changing all right and they just know you are who you are you ain't gonna change for them so there is a feeling over here of someone who feels like oh who the person i'm dealing with over here ain't gonna change all right it does not matter what i do they are gonna always be the same so there is um there is an awareness you know, on this person's path, you know, um, there's an awareness here where if somebody um, knows that the other person ain't going to change. All right. Now, let's see what else for, you know, for you on the side. Addicted to toxicity. Toxic relationships gives you. Give, okay. Relationships give you an opportunity to overcome unresolved pain. And take this time to heal, grow, and become more self-aware. So somebody here, it could be you. I'm saying you because I'm reading for you, right? But um, you could have been in a relationship that you considered very toxic. Um, but there was a lesson that you needed to learn. All right. Which is lesson around being able to overcome something. For you, it might be that you find it difficult to move on from a situation. Um, even though you know a situation is not um, working out, but somebody finds it hard to move on. And, you know, spirit will keep putting somebody in that energy, you know, so that it can overcome any unresolved pain. And it could be pain from abandonment or childhood issues or pain from, you know, addiction, or pain from, from anything, all right? But things stemming from, you know, um, your foundation, your roots, it could be even from your upbringing, um, where um, you, needed to, you need to heal. There is healing that is needed here for whoever this person is to grow and become more self-aware. So there's somebody here who is probably also going through some kind of um, this connection spiritually or the thing their partner is all right but i have a feeling you know i'm picking up the energy of whoever this person is they feel crushed sad broken they might be going through a dark night of the soul a spiritual desolation period a period of a spiritual awakening where they are meant to you know grow as a person and learn a very hard lesson around pain and managing heartbreaks okay managing brokenness and managing any toxicity all right and knowing when to heal and move on and step away from that energy okay i'm picking up you know very very um strong energy of somebody who is also required to heal on this side okay um all right let me pull one for whoever you're dealing with like i said i'm taking reverses because somehow I pulled out my cards and they are all, I'm seeing all reverse. I'm like, I don't know how the heck all of this happened. And I just kept putting them and I'm hearing you're taking reverses. All right. 
so look at that look at that so i will take reverses i mean reversals if they come up okay if they um happen to pop out we will take them spirit i just need one okay all right there's something about ghosting all right so let's take a look whoever it is that you are dealing with that is obsessive or thinks you are obsessive that might be indulging or think you are the one indulging and thinking maybe you are not even um you know you don't have the ability to change or they may not be changing or you might be the one seeing them as somebody who's not going to change. There's something about somebody is not going to change here. It does not matter what anybody does. It's a, if, a you know, um, it's a sense of awareness that somebody has about, you know, accepting somebody or needing to accept somebody the way they are. It's either I'm going to accept you the way you are or I'm going to let you go. All right. Uh, but there's something here about somebody who is bent on something I ain't going to change. And there's an element of ghosting. Um, it says it can be difficult to hear, but if someone is ghosting you and doesn't want to be with you, they are reflecting a lack of your own self-worth. All right. So there is an energy here of ghosting somebody. So one person ghosted one person. All right. You are on the side feeling broken. All right. Or feeling, you know, some kind of transformation that spirit is having you go through by force. Because you've been placed in this situation. If you see, this bike is broken, right? Um, it's been placed in a place, like in a, in a situation where it cannot, you know, move. It's just there. Um, so spirit placed you in a tight spot for you to be able to um, heal some unresolved childhood wounds. And it involved being broken and being sad and dealing with somebody who will put you in that state. So that when you find yourself in that state, you know to be able to pick yourself up and keep it moving. All right. M meanwhile, or whereas the person you're dealing with um, ghosted you. So maybe this is part of what you need to heal from. Um, somebody ghosting you. And this has to do with abandonment for um, some of you. Because when somebody ghosts us, right? What are they doing? Abandoning us. And if we have... Um, trauma around abandonment issues. It will trigger those. I picked up something earlier about trigger. All right. I picked up an energy right before I started this reading. It said something about trigger. Okay. Um, but, you know, if somebody could trigger the other person by ghosting them. And you don't understand why did they ghost me? You know, when somebody ghosts you, they don't give you an explanation. They just go rogue on you. All right, because they see that the, this situation ain't changing. They are not ready to change or they know you ain't ready to change. Um, and some of them might be, you know, obsessed with a lifestyle or indulgence in something that they know you might not approve of. And, you know, in order for them to continue in this obsessive energy, they needed to ghost you. All right. They need to, needed to let you go. All right. So it's not as if maybe they did not love you. I mean, they are dealing with their, their own issues, but you have to understand spirit will come in and, you know, make people do what they want to do so that you too can grow from whatever this is, you know, as a person. Okay. All right. Isn't that crazy, guys? All right. Let's see. Oh, didn't we try this already? Um, uh, all right, guys. I want to see what we're going to pick up here. All right. Let's see, guys. For you. Let's see. Maybe this card does have dark. Um, see, guys, did you notice how some of them are this way? And some of them have like reversals. And I don't know how the heck that happened. So, like I said, I am going to be you know taking reversals i i don't want to take this many i'm trying to figure out the unifying energy all right so let's see the common energy what you know energy both both of you may be sharing all right um so you see we have reversals you see we have reversals this is all reversals why they came out reversed i do not know there's something here about black magic <laughs> so whoever this first uh, power will resonate with. There is dark magic. Or oh, there's belief that there's something dark that happened here. All right. There's, so if somebody's thinking, maybe somebody's harvesting their soul or try to harvest their soul, you would be right that that happened. All right. Someone, be, you know, doing dark 
magic here on someone. So even though they ghosted, there is an obsessiveness about the other person. They are not even, you know, willing to let you go yet. They haven't let you go. They just ghosted you. Some of them I'm picking might even be stalking you online, be following you. Um, but there's an obsessiveness in this energy, all right? There's dark magic for sure that somebody did here. Um, if it's not dark magic, somebody thinks, you know, someone did dark magic, whether they did it or not, all right? Because whether they did it, that's a different ball game. But obviously, someone did something here. Uh, or somebody thinks that someone did dark magic, all right? And, guys, this is weird. And, and that came right out. First card. Oh, Lord. All right, so there's somebody, there's an obsession here with, you know, dark magic. Or somebody thinking there is dark magic in this thing, all right? Someone did dark magic, you know, on them. You know what, guys? I'm going to bring all of this to this, um, on this side so that we can. And then this will be the second one and the third one. Okay, let's see guys so there's also um so because this came out in the reverse it might be that there is no dark magic but somebody thinks there is all right whatever the case may be there is an element of struggle going on here where someone is dealing with the idea that there's been some kind of dark magic that has been used on them all right whether the other person used it or not um, I do not know. All right. I, mean, I guess we'll find out as we go on, but, um, there is someone who is in the energy of, you know, thinking there's dark magic here. All right. Um, uh, because it came out in the reverse, it might not be the truth. Um, or it might be, it doesn't matter. It's either or right. And then we, we have here tapping into energies. Wow. So Nikki, this might be your pile. If you're resonating with it. So maybe somebody tapped into your energy and because it came out reverse, maybe they didn't. Maybe you think they did or maybe they did. I do not know. All right. So, but they, obviously because it came out here, um, Spirit is calling it out that there is a tapping into someone's energy or trying to like um, harvest somebody's energy. Um, somebody might be obsessed with someone to where they're not letting go. They know you have good energy. They miss that, especially if they are energy vampires and they, you know, they depended on your energy. You give them life. You give them meaning. You give them substance. And then maybe you ghosted them or somebody walked away and they're missing that. And they're trying spiritually to hold on to your energy. Um, in their mind, they are trying to hold on. They're not letting go of whoever this person is. Okay. There's something here about wake up someone about to receive a rude awakening. So there is some, um, spiritual awakening in this, um, situation for somebody. Someone is meant to go through some kind of dark night of the soul where they are able to awaken, where they're able to, um, realize, you know, um, they need healing and they need to move away from, something right because we picked up the dark night energy so someone i feel like is going through some kind of spiritual awakening and i feel like someone might be struggling with you know whatever this spiritual awakening is for them um they may be struggling with it to a point where you know they really need someone to you know snap them out of it it's pretty telling you wake up there's something about you need to wake up. Like somebody's been lingering in an energy for too long. And Spirit is telling you, wake up. Or there's a, 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 an awakening, a rude awakening. Or there is a spiritual awakening that is supposed to have happened that may not have happened. Or may be happening as is. As is either for you or for your partner. Because as long as both of you are, you know, a soulmate. Or you guys have past life together. All right. Um... Your energies are still connected, except you do what is called the cord cutting. All right. You have to cut the cord. All right. And there's a whole lot on the internet about, you know, cord cutting. So go check it out and figure out what you need to do to cut whatever ties that you may have with someone because it looks like it's a lingering energy. And so it's like there is an awakening that is supposed to happen here or is happening. So somebody's, um, Awakening might be taking longer to happen, all right? They may not have fully gotten to an awakened state yet where they are still de definitely, you know, going through their dark night of the soul. And here it's talking about someone can't see through a situation. So it's still the same thing about going through the dark night of the soul where it looks like somebody cannot really see, all right? They, they are covered for right now. Whoever this is needs a wake-up call. They need to 
awakened, all right? And they are lingering in an energy of cloudiness, an energy of inability to see, all right? And I'm also picking up the energy of someone might be dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. So whatever this is that happened here, probably left somebody um, with PTSD, um, where they are struggling with whatever experience they have here, um, where they are thinking there's dark magic, whether there's dark magic or not, um, but it did come up, right? So someone is traumatized by whatever this experience was for them or is for them, okay? Because like I said, this is got, might be present, past energy, might be future energy for some of you. Whatever is going on here, guys, there's somebody who needs to um, take better care of themselves. We picked up a, a card about healing earlier on where they need to heal PTSD. Can you also Google if there's any type of um, spiritual healing for PTSD? I know Reiki is good and you probably need to consider doing Reiki if you're going through this because stress from previous experiences, you know, experiences that shocked us, especially if somebody uh, puts us in a ghosting um place or you know decided to cut ties with us suddenly or something ended abruptly and we have childhood pains where we are struggling you know as we're saying we need to heal we need to grow and um we're supposed to learn you know deep deep lessons about you know pain and how to you know manage pain management is what i'm hearing we're meant to learn deep lessons about pain management all right it's not everybody who knows or who know who knows how to manage pain all right some of us cannot uh manage it you know um properly some of us need extra help to manage pain so if you're in this pile spirit is advising you to find a way to heal the psd the trauma okay um there's something about hustler always hustling and knows how to get what they want so one person is in the energy of a hustler they keep hustling they probably hustle through this relationship um they hustled you and maybe somebody you know finding it hard to you know deal with the fact that they were hustled by somebody but one person obviously is a hustler here and what did i say earlier on about if this was a soulmate um relationship then both of you are still energetically tied together all right and there is a cord cutting that needs to occur so that you can you know move away from them or else that energetic link is going to be there forever and ever and you know one might find themselves just lingering in that energy forever all right and not understanding why is it i can't move on from this person why is it that it looks like i'm obsessed or they are obsessed if you're not obsessed they are obsessed there's an inability to move forward here um because there is a soul tie here uh, you know divine soul connection that that you share with whoever this person is okay all right guys that's the first pile i'm gonna put it right here okay let's go to the second group and see what we pick up for this second group um on one side one person is done they've completed let you know learning their lessons it, they've completed their lessons whoever this is is a wiser person They've come out of whatever this situation is, stronger, better, wiser. They have done the work and they have passed the test. For somebody who has passed their test, sometimes you need to go through this test multiple times for you to be completed with it. All right. Um, but sometimes we just, if you're, if we are wise, we just go through it once and we're like, we're done. I am ain't going to be in there anymore. I ain't going through this. Not again. All right. So somebody is in the energy of hell. No, not again. Ain't going to happen again. All right. And the other person is in an energy of settlement, agreements, compromise, so one person is done, one person wants to settle. So it doesn't look like, uh, okay, or maybe one person is also, you know, the other person is also done and, you know, settled. Or, you know, they, there's an agreement that this is done. I'm seeing, they just showed me again the glass, you know, two people raised and be like, yeah, chairs, we're done. It's agreed. Both people have learned some lessons over here. All right. Um, there is a lesson that has obviously been learned. So let's see what's going on with you on this side and whoever you're dealing with on the other side. But there's a mutual agreement here. All right. There's a mutual agreement on your side. There is a reunion. Both of you have learned a lot about yourselves. What did I say? <laughs> Spirit, I thank you for your confirmation for aligning these messages because these are different decks, guys. Um, 
if we're not pulling the right energies, they won't be resonating, right? But here it's talking about both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of your connection. The reunion or this reunion will be physical in nature. So it looks like this is a relationship that is done. And maybe in the future, because right now, both people have learned their lessons. I mean, you are done with the lesson and the other person is like, I'm good. You know, for right now, whatever is going on, both people are done. But I see an opportunity to come back again to see. It's going to be a test when that happens again, again, right? Spirit will want to test you. Are you truly done with this? Have you really learned the lesson like you claim you have? So we're going to throw both of you back together. Let's see if you bite the bait. Let's see if the spark or connection is there. Let's see if truly both of you have learned the lessons and you all know to move forward, all right, on your different path. Or both of you want to come back again and learn or relearn whatever this lesson is. So there is a potential reunion in your energy with whoever this person is, all right? There's something here about awakened fears. Um, So the person you're dealing with, Says your worst fears are being awakened, such as rejection, abandonment, loss, or commitment issues, and bringing out all the skeletons hiding in your closet. So maybe somebody also might um, be lingering in the energy of, um, you know, rejection. Like even though the score looks like it's settled, you know, like, oh, I'm good. Uh, and that, that is why I'm picking up the energy of the reunion where spirit will be like, let's throw both of you together. Where one person has actually learned their lesson and is done. The other person just settled. They haven't really learned. All right. And, you know, because they haven't really learned, they are, you know, I'm settling from a place of fear because they know you're done. All right. And um, they are having to go through or deal with rejection, abandonment, loss of commitment. You know, they lost you. Uh, because whatever the case is, you're done, you're moving on. Um, they've lost you in this case, all right? And um, they, I mean, they, I mean, there's a lot of skeleton in, in, in skeletons hiding in the closet that were not, you know, talked about or that were not dealt with. There were a lot of lack of closure, is what I'm hearing. Um, there was a lot of um, lack of closure in this situation. Um, but whatever you know, connection this is, I'm picking up the connecting energy. There's something about a false twin flame. And that is why the reunion card is there. Because spirit will want to test you again to see um, something that should be done or should have been done. Is it actually done? All right. You say it's done. Is it done? Are you truly done with this? Or um, are you still needing to learn more lessons? So obviously when one person is done and the other person ain't done, there is um, a, a learning a learning curve that might also come back in the future for whoever this is resonating with over here. Okay. There is a, a person that you dealt with that you may be done, but they ain't done or they may be done and you ain't done. All right. But there is, um, illusion or the belief that there is a twin flame, you know, connection that both of you share and I'm um, picking also, um, a, a, an energy of there was a lot of sneakiness and hiding and things in the closet and just things going on. Um, it says, if loving them leaves you feeling drained, incompatible in many ways, or deep down you know something is not right, they are not your twin. So definitely there's something not right here. Where, you know, somebody know or knows they are settling down, settling, you're having to settle. All right, you're having to compromise something. And if you're compromising, there is a level of fear that whoever this is, is bearing. And, you know, they are probably needing to deal with issues of rejection, issues of abandonment. We need healing from these things, guys. All right. And these things would stem from, you know, all through our life, from childhood where, you know, either parents will leave us and, you know, cry. You know, kids, like as a young child, a lot of our parents will smother us to a point where you won't, they won't let you cry. As a baby, when you cry a little, they carry you, you're close by, they cuddle you so that when the day they happen to leave you alone and you cry by yourself, we find it hard to deal with the trauma. So we feel rejected, we feel abandoned when we're not getting that cuddling back. 
that we used to get. All right. So some parents will over pamper their kids and put them in that state. Some parents, because of lack of good, you know, um, knowledge of how to parent their children or being a bad parent, they will abandon their children. Some people may be put in a situation where they are forced to leave their children behind, maybe through divorce or through, um, you know, they need, to, they need to go and work and bring money home, you know, for the family. So they are not there. But we grow up feeling rejected, feeling abandoned, feeling separated from our parents and, you know, um, feeling like they, they, you know, there's a loss of the commitment um, in that relationship with whoever this is. All right. So and um, there is a lot of underlining you know things that i feel like need to heal here for someone um whereas somebody is done <laughs> someone is done or claim to have been done or to be done with something all right they may get to re you know re reunite with whoever this is who is not done yet may want to come back in the future there will be an opportunity for a meet in the future it might be accidental it might be sudden it might be by design, it might be by faith, but there is going to be a meeting here that will happen. And when you meet again, um, Spirit will want to test, is the spark still there? Do you still feel that attraction that you feel to, you know, because when we're dealing with somebody that we think is a, a twin flame that is not a twin flame, we do feel a certain type of attraction to them, right? Um, so that, I mean, it's usually physical because it's not deep, it's not spiritual. That's why they are not your twin flame. It's a physical connection where, you know, because look at that. There's kissing, but there's no touching, right? There's something that they do to you that when spirit brings them back, spirit wants to know um, if you're, you're going to lean on that, you know, physical connectivity that rather than look for the spiritual connectivity. And that is what separates a, you know, false twin from a real twin. A real twin that is a deeper spiritual connection where even unspoken words, you know, you're connected with that person. But the, the ones who are in a false twin flame, you know, feel connected by the physicality is intense. It's, it's hot. There's a lot of touching or kissing or the sensuality there. All right. And you feel like sensuality is the same as spirituality. And it's not. One person obviously is um, a succubus energy. Seduces and manipulates you know, people of the, you know, people, men, they manipulate people, men. So if this is a man, they are manipulating a man. If it's a woman, they are manipulating a man. All right. There's somebody here who is in their feminine energy and all they need, they do when, you know, when you have the opportunity to meet this person again, you just have to be very careful for they know how to suck somebody right in. And, you know, you, spirit will test you again with this done. Are you done? They're showing me the done, the, pl the plus sign, the mark. You know, done as complete. Like somebody may actually be done, but um, you know, um, <laughs> but are you really done with a twin flame, a false twin? Because the tests around false twin, they keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back, and we don't know why we keep taking them back, and we don't know. We know, even though we know they are all, you know, they are unawakened and we know that there's something we should have been done with it or moved on but because of what we feel that sensuality the connection we feel we give them an opportunity even when they are separated from us they still linger in a place of fear where um they are missing you know um the, the physical connection all right that that both of you share in such a way that they cannot let you go they're thinking about you and because they're thinking about you you're thinking about them there's a connectivity there all right there's also soul tie here which some of you need to do called um calling in this situation if you want to like move on if you are the person who is on this side who is done with this lesson you don't want to relearn it all right you can go google how to do cord carding okay and cut yourself from whoever this false twin is so that spirit can bring you the right twin okay let's see what else spirits okay let's see what we're picking up here all right so the connecting energy there's something about screaming and goes to extremes for attention if somebody is a succubus you know they are um attention seeking you know a queen a drama queen i'm hearing um they know how to manipulate the spitfire somebody might even be delving into you know some kind of fire magic um 
all right just to manipulate someone so you have to be watchful if you're the partner in this situation that you are done with this the other person may be using some some type of fire magic here i'm also picking up magic here um and something to you know draw you back or pull you back into this whole thing where spirit is like there will be a reunion for sure all right because they are using them their fire magic and you if you're not strong enough you might get attracted back to this person because you haven't caught you know like you haven't gone to where you cut the the cord on this person all right you need to cut the cords on them all right um but there is some kind of they go to the extreme to hold you back you know in that energy so that you know you can keep having repeated second chances second chances and second chances until you're on the 10th chance and they are delaying you and they are dragging you and they're keeping you stuck and bound so that you aren't able to meet your real twin because when we're still lingering with our false twin how are we then gonna meet the real twin you say someone is getting a second chance wow i love it spirit thank you spirit when you make all these cards resonate um i am just a messenger i am just a reader thank you spirit there's something about reunion guys second chances you know i mean i cannot even explain this any better than i have for whoever this is resonating with there's something about warning be careful gaslighting detected okay be careful whoever you're dealing with may not be done with you they settled they just compromised they just arrived at okay cheers here's an agreement okay because you have your back turn you know you ain't gonna indulge anyway so i mean whatever the case may be um i gotta let it go but they did not really let it go so because they haven't let you go and some of them may be doing fire magic um or maybe doing spell work or maybe sending you, um, you know, spell or, you know, black magic or things like that. Trying to hold you or tie you together so that you're not leaving them. Um, you're bound to them even though there's no touching, but there is a connection. They're trying to keep that connection alive and keep it going. Um, even though the lesson should be learned, all right? Or to you, they are learned, but that person ain't learning yet. Wow. Okay. Let's put it here. Now, let's read for this pile over here. Okay, one person is in a love, uh, love affair energy. Dirty little secrets. Down low. Wow. Or you think the other person is. All right. And one person is in a magnetic energy, unexplainable pull that they can't resist. All right. This is interesting. <laughs> Let's see what is going on. Spirit. What is going on here? Wow, guys. You see? I'm seeing reversals. You see how they are? You see here? Here? All right. So I will take reversals like if they come. Um, and there's a reason why Spirit wants me to take reversals today. Because I kept getting that message before I even, you know, um, turned on my camera. Because some people might think something is a way and it might not be that way. All right? So, for whoever is on this side, there is ego drive. All right. somebody's in, in a dirty little secret, down low type of love affair energy. They have things going on. They are in the closet about something. There is skeleton in this closet over here. There's something someone is hiding, obviously. And it is, it is being driven from a place of ego. And it's it's talking about twin flame. All right. Um, so, you, you might be in a, a relationship where... Um, somebody feels very magnetized. They, there's an unexplainable pull that they feel. Um, uh, both of you do feel that. Uh, but there, there is a, a dishonesty here because whoever, you know, you're dealing with, I mean, you consider them your twin flame. And he says it could be stuck in ego that is keeping them unaware of who they really are as a soul. This mask could be due to fears. So there is something, uh, you know, here that is keeping somebody held in the closet where they need to come out with the truth that they haven't all right um there's something you know hidden in this circumstance even though you know both people might think it's a twin you know flame kind of connection where there is magnetic you know pull towards one another there is lusting 
um, and you know, one person is probably thinking, is it love or loss that the sex can be out of this world? But do you, do you really have a deep connection? What does this person really add to your life besides good sex? All right. So there is a magnetic pull or somebody who is addicted. I'm also hearing addicted to sex in this situation. There is something about sex. There is some hot, passionate, you know, thing going on here. Where somebody is even hiding who they truly are. And I'm also getting the energy of somebody who may also be cheating on their partner or be going outside, you know, um, to seek pleasure because they are um, addicted to sex. So this came upside down and it talks about differences. It says your twin may be dif different to you, different cultures, beliefs, age, or in status. This could keep you apart until the differences get resolved but it came out in the reverse all right so if you're dealing with somebody who obviously may be different you feel like you may not be accepted you feel like you might need to hide a certain part of yourself um especially if you're dealing with somebody who's like maybe um on the opposite side of you maybe you're straight and they are um they are um, into same sex relationship, or maybe you are a one religion and they are another religion, or maybe they are a particular belief and you are another belief, or you're a particular culture and they are another culture, or you believe in a certain way of you know sex and they believe in another way of having sex, or there's something where there is a difference here, or some one of you think there is a difference here. All right, there's something that is separating the two people in this situation where um one person may be seeing that you know that that there's there's a um a resolution that is needed here in whatever incompatibility or differences you know there there are or there is but definitely there is a physical attraction there is a lot of sex here there is magnetism that i mean you when you when you are around this person you just feel like you can't have enough of them um it feels like a love affair to you um for some of you you might even this might be even a secret type of relationship um, I'm also picking up a lot of third party energy here, but I'm not going to say that. Um, but there is something about a love affair here. All right. There is an affair going on here, or you think it is, or it looks like that is exactly what it is, where there is a, a love affair and there is, um, hot romance. Um, but there is something that is keeping the two people apart. They are unable to come together because of for whatever reason, this came reversed again. Um, there's something here that is not as it, it seems, or it's supposed to seem, or, or look, right? There's something that, you know, is a, a in the, I'm seeing like, they're showing me like a valley, you know, all right? And like maybe something in the middle, like a hole in the middle, and there are two um, mountains on the side, whatever, it's like a valley, right? So it's like there's a, a middle ground that is separating both people. Um, there's something holding two people from coming together here. If this is a third party where people are sneaking around or someone is sneaking around, um, there is definitely a separation here. Um, and this is a repetitive cycle. It talks about the predict predictable and repetitive cycle of an on and off relationship. It can be toxic and hurtful. So why put yourself through such an awful experience? So there's something here telling you it is um, there's another reversal. There's forgiveness. Your twin either wants to apologize or it's time that you release the past and forgive them for what they've done. This will help you heal from the past. I'm going to put it back because it didn't really come out. Um, but maybe that's a message, you know, right there. So definitely there is something here that is repetitive. Okay. There is something that looks like I'm hearing a never ending story. Okay. So somebody might even be telling a never ending story. <laughs> maybe when you go out and you know meet whoever this is and there's always a story or another that you tell whoever you're in a relationship with if whoever you're in a relationship with happens to be the person that you think is your twin flame all right maybe you need to explain to them when you come back when you're sneaking around and you know it's like never ending story but they are dealing with it because they think oh this is my twin flame right so everybody's hanging in there even the one person is in, in a love affair or a third party situation or cheating um, and if this is not the case, you might feel like maybe you are the person that you are, you know, cheating with. If you are, happen to be in a third party situation, maybe the person who's your twin flame. All right. And um, if that is not the case, some of you also, because I'm reading for many different people, right? 
Um, some of you may feel like there is a cycle in your life right now that is repeating itself. There's Here's another one here. Cycles. I didn't even see this. He's saying your situation is gaining momentum. Get ready for a big change. Be sure to stay grounded as this change can throw you off your center. There's magical. They induce magic in your life. Brighten your days for unknown reasons. Their presence alone makes you feel safe around them. All right. There is a magnetism here where somebody is in a love affair, a love relationship with somebody whom, you know, it looks like they are still operating from their ego. Okay. Let's see. I would like to get one more for this spirit. And I'm being drawn to the um, love triangle. If there's any love triangle here. Okay. Um, there's something about divine timing behind every twin flame journey. There is a divine plan and a divine time for accomplishing it. Don't focus on when, but how you can learn from it. There is a lesson here. I'm picking up a lot of twin flame energy. So the, the people on this side may be twin flame, you know, relationship where there is um, a strong magnetic pull that you cannot explain. You know you're connected with somebody. And twin flame, you know, relationships, they are always challenging where there will be cheating. There will be, you know, toxicity. People will test you because really it's trying to see, are you learning or are you not learning? Are you going to, you know, stay there and keep repeating a cycle that is not good for your health because someone is your twin flame? Or are you going to learn and move from it? And move on so that you know that is what the twin flame journey is all about empowerment we're not meant to be stuck in a relationship where somebody does not treat us good and that is what those twin flame relationships will do to us they will put us through the ringer they will teach you how to become a better version of yourself because spirit is testing you to see are you going to really truly become a wiser better person all right. Um, but we find ourselves lingering in that because we know we have a strong, uh, you know, affection towards this person. There's a strong magnetic connection. And, you know, we know, we know about that. We're aware of that. All right. We know that there is a soul tie and it's very deep and it's a spiritual and also physical because there is an intense type of lust in here and you know but is it lust is it love or love whatever the case may be there's intensity with the the, the sex here all right and because of all that connection we feel entangled and we feel tied to somebody and that cycle just keeps repeating all right it might keep repeating with even that same person and that person might be cheating on us but we're still stuck there for whatever reason because we feel magical um or we feel there is magic, there is spark. This might not be actual, physical, somebody doing dark magic or voodoo. Um, the experience just feel like it's magical for you, all right? And you know that for some reason, they make you feel complete. Like to you, there's a, this is a love affair of a lifetime, is what I'm hearing. Love affair of a lifetime, all right? Whenever you meet this person and come back together, there might be a lot of separations here or where there is a, because I'm seeing that valley again with, you know, um, two mountains on the side and it looks like some people keep you know coming up with an excuse to not be together all right um where they have to sneak around because of there's differences in might be age or maybe status somebody's hiding something but you know that there is a connection there's a deeper connection you want to be with somebody but you can't be with them you know a lot of people in a twin flame journey are ego driven you know your own partner will be in their ego even when one person is awakened but spirit is telling whoever this is resonating for that there is divine timing okay that you all have to wait for all right okay guys i am totally drained from that like i said i would like to pull maybe a couple love triangle for those who this might be resonating for let's see if there's a third party situation here it says the masculine all right he says in full control of the situation decisive in his decisions and hard to emotionally manipulate all right and here he says baiting is it in it to win seducing using weaknesses okay all right there is seduction going on here <laughs> there's baiting going on here and seduction there's some hotness that i feel here all right and the masculine might be hot. 
as heck. All right, they might be good looking here. Or you think they are good looking or even the partner looks, you know, good. There is sexual chemistry and sexual attraction here. All right. Okay, guys, that is all I'm going to be able to take today. I can't do anymore. My energy is just like, all right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I hope you can resonate with one of them. This is Healing Hands. All right. Bye, guys.